Hello crafty cuties, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for that glare. Today I thought it would be kind of fun to show you how I store my embellishments and die cuts, little pieces of ephemera and stuff like that. I basically store all of those things together and I do store them in about five different containers. I have a really small area where I can keep all of my crafts, which is like my crafting closet. And I do have a little craft closet tour coming for you guys soon, but I wanted to go more into detail um, in for a few of the sections that are inside my crafting closet. So I will show you kind of an overview of my craft closet where I keep my storage system and for my embellishments and stuff. And I actually keep these two little containers on top of my Ikea Raskog um, rolling cart. And then three other boxes that I will be showing you, those are kept inside my craft closet. These are what I use for anything that's pretty small and also any of my die cuts that I cut myself either on my cuddle bug or on my uh, silhouette cameo. And then also I have like punches and other just like cutouts in this one. This is where I keep anything that's like a button. I have enamel dots and little wooden stickers that come from Michaels. Um, I love these little organization uh, containers. I think they make it really, really easy to keep your stuff pretty organized. And I love that they are clear so that you can see through. Um, I would eventually love to get a couple more of these and keep my paper, my other paper embellishments in. Uh, but I would probably take most of uh, these out and I would, cause I would need bigger uh, little store. Why can't I think? I would need bigger sections obviously for those things. But right now this works for me and I do love that these come out. I will try to find a link to something like this or something similar. Um, so the next one is where I keep any of my die cuts and I do try to keep it pretty organized to where like this whole section has hello die cuts and this one has like thank yous. Um, these are just some layered embellishments that I made so they're like ready to go. I have some bigger die cuts in here. And again, this is just nice because I can see them. I love having like little punches and things already cut out. Um, sometimes when I have extra time, I'll go through my scraps and just punch a bunch of punches out so that I have them ready for when I want to do some like layered embellishments or scrapbooking, something like that. So I'm trying to give you an overview here. So next I use these uh, like decorated shoe boxes that just come from Michaels. This one actually came from my sister-in-law, she made for me. And um, as you can see here, I do keep some labels on them, but I know what I keep in each one, so it's not really a big issue. And honestly, even in my craft closet, I don't even have enough space to store these all together. But it's not a big issue, so now I will go into detail and I can show you wit what is in each one. So in this first one, I have any 3D stickers or alphas, or things like bling and gems. I've tried storing these with my other stickers and they're just too big and bulky. And I find that I honestly didn't reach for them very often when I had them like in my sticker um, storage, which I'll have a link here if you guys wanna see how I store all of my other stickers. But basically this is just going to be anything that's like a bulky sticker. So like I said, 3D stickers. And then, you know, most, most of the time I feel like um, alphabet stickers are pretty um, big. And so that's where I keep all of these. It's just easy for me to go through. And I know that if I'm working like on a project where I will want to add some bling or anything like that, I just know to grab that box and I'm good to go. So in this next one is where I keep any store-bought or, you know, packaged die cuts and ephemera, which I kind of figured out. Ephemera is not really what I thought it was. Ephemera is more like old pieces of paper and old tickets and things like that that you have. I totally thought that like um, die cuts and things were also called ephemera. But anyways, that's besides the point. So this is where I just keep anything that's packaged. And um, I do try to keep them like in their package just because 
I don't know, once I open the packages and have them just swimming around in this big box, I definitely find it harder to go through. And that's why I did try putting these like in an album, but I just can't keep up with that. I don't know why, it's just really time consuming and it's, it, I don't know, they just slide around in the album and then whatever. So this is going to be anything that is in a paper, minus I just had that one in the wrong box, but mostly like paper embellishments and die cuts and you know, th things that come in a package or, or store box. So there's that one. And then the last one is my bigger box. And this is going to be any type of embellishment that is um, like a wood veneer. I have bows and flowers, doilies, and some metal embellishments. So kind of a big mix, but again, it, it works for me. So inside this little box is where I have a bunch of wooden veneers and, uh, is it wooden veneers? Am I saying that wrong? I don't know. Um, and chipboard pieces. Um, this one should have went in there. So that's nice because I can just grab this whole thing if, if I knew I was just looking for like a wooden piece. And then basically the rest of this stuff is kind of like, I always think of it as my shabby chic box. I have doilies and more little pretty doilies. Um, these wooden embellishments were a little too big to put in this smaller box. And I was going to take them off the paper here, but I kind of wanted to keep them all together. And then I just have packages of bows and flowers. And yeah, I try to go through these boxes every couple weeks and just make sure there is, that I'm using what I have in here, Make sure, see if there's anything that I need to get rid of and just try to keep it as organized as I can so that when I'm doing a project, I can just grab these five boxes. And you might think, you know, that seems a little extreme to have to grab five boxes when I'm doing a project where I want like embellishments. But for me, it's not a big issue. And like I said, I keep the two, um, plastic containers, organizers, whatever. I just keep these on top of my Ikea Rascog so I can roll it around. This isn't really so much an embellishment container, but I have this one right here just for projects. So if I'm working on, on a certain project, I will grab everything I need for that project. Right now, I just got done filming some layered tags. And so you can see I have my tags in here. I have all the washi that I needed. And I don't know, I just like to grab everything that I need and then I basically bring this over to my filming station or if I'm not filming and I'm just working on a project, you know, I would bring this over. And I really don't know why I showed you guys in this video, but <laughs> it was right here and I figured I would show you. I think it, it makes it kind of nice to be able to gather everything that you need um, and just have it have a container where you can put it all in and then you can work on your project and you'll have everything you need anyways guys well i hope this video was helpful and if you have any tips for me for how i can organize my like store-bought die cuts a little bit easier um as long as it's not the album system then let me know and i will talk to you guys in the next video love you guys bye